welcome to another episode of Blue Moon Collectibles. Yep. My name is Chris. I'm Tony. And this is episode 10. Yep. 10. The Big 10. And we've got a great episode for you today. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Yep. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, taking time out of your day to visit us. Um, today we're going to go over some stuff that we've picked up. Um, I've we've actually got a bunch of pickups. We haven't done a pickups video. We did we did the out-of-box stuff, but we haven't done an actual pickups of in-box stuff for quite a while. So yeah, I know. It's been a I've, bit. I've got several, and so does he. So we've got our Target Con stuff, some stuff from the Funko Shop, um, some flea stuff market. from Flea Market, from Macari, Shop we, Goodwill, Will, all over the place. So we wanted to bring it all together for you today. And without any further ado, we've got several, so we're going to move kind of quickly. Yep. Okay, one big thing that I'm a big fan of, besides Batman, I also like Catwoman. So I've got a lot of the Catwomans now. And what's interesting is that we just got a couple new Catwomans. Um, Selena Kyle here. I found this one at Target, and it was marked down because, of course, you can notice the, the mangled box. So I was going to take her out anyway. So I'll do that now for you. But as you can see, she's got her whip in her hand. Um, I think it was kind of interesting that they didn't do her fingernails like they did with the movie. But she'll look very handsome, I think, or nice with the... Handsome? Beautiful, sorry. I thought she would work really well with the other Catwoman's here. On your next one, dude. Okay. The other things that came out, um, while we're on the subject of Catwoman, they also did recently an art series. Um, Target did. I guess Target is one of those places that they are doing more and more DC art series here. So here's 62, which is Batman Returns on Catwoman. And here is the original pop that they used to do the art series for. And this is also from Batman Returns. And also, with Target Con 2022, they also put out an art series Joker, uh, which is number 64, I guess, in the art series. So I thought that was pretty cool. And to compare, here is the original Joker from The Batman, or Batman, the movie. Okay. Moving on. Uh, other things that we found recently. They actually put out a Hot Topic Batman, The Batman, um, that we didn't find previously. And I think the difference is that he's got, he's still got his, his fighting stance, but... He's a little bit scratched up, I think, as part of it. Yeah, it's not a whole lot different. But... Nope. And then from Target, I picked up the Bruce Wayne. So here he is. So I'm still missing the Bruce Wayne where he's got he's got his cat, um, hood off. Okay, what have you got, Tom? I'm sticking with DC. I thought it'd be fun to... I started collecting all the Shazam pops. Aha! Uh -huh. So, um, I got most of them. I'm only missing one from the, you know, the Shazam kids. I got, there's Pedro. Yep. And Darla. Yep. I always thought it was kind of weird that they didn't have superhero names. Yeah. Eugene. It's just the kid names. Well, they didn't, in the comics, you know, they have... Um, names similar like that. Here's Freddy, because he'd be Captain Marvel Jr. in the comics. Yeah. Um, but they didn't do that in the movie. Kind of weird. And then here's Shazam, or Captain Marvel. Yeah. And the only one I'm missing is Mary. So I'd have a complete set, and they're <laughs> of, at least of the, the regular ones. Yeah, that's Ms. Marvel. Yeah, well, Mary Marvel. Mary Marvel. Okay. Um, of course, it's not called Mary Marvel anymore. It's, it's Shazam, or at least in most comic books anyway. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then moving on, we also have picked up 
Bubba, Bubba Fett from the Book of Bubba Fett. Did you say Bubba Fett? No, I said Bubba Fett. I tried not to mispronounce. But yeah, there's the Bubba Fett there. And also picked up Cobb Vant. It was kind of one of those things where he's actually listed with the Mandalorian. Uh, we tried to go over to Hot Topic and pick up the Chase, which is his, him without his helmet on, but unfortunately they didn't have him there. Um, then there's also Fennec Shand with the Book of Bubba Fett. Of course, she's really growing in popularity that way. And then for Target Con, the other thing they put out, they put out Pocket Pops of uh, Fennec Shand and Bubba Fett. Cool. Which I thought was kind of interesting. And then finally, for the end of the Target Con, the other one I picked up was the Flock Knuckles, which of course goes with uh, the Flock um, Sonic and Tails that was previously put out. Right on. Oops. Oops. Right. And I'll show you some more of mine. Um, this one was kind of neat. I got her <laughs> Espresso Trip Tina and Unicorn. Yep. So that was pretty cool, I thought. And, yep, and that's me. the 2018 Summer Convention. So That's pretty cool. It's your first ride? Yeah, I think it's my first ride. Cool. Yeah, it reminds me of the the Deadpool one where he's riding the uniform. Yeah. And then uh, most of mine are just commons, but I still just picked them up. They were cheap. Uh, Hank Pym. From the Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yep. That's Hope's father, of course. Yep. And then I, this guy's pretty cool, though. GameStop exclusive uh, uh, Cobra Red Ninja. Yeah. That's... I thought he was pretty cool. I got um, the Hank, uh, the Bob's Burgers. And Cobra and one other. I got them at uh, um, the pawn shop I work at. So That's pretty cool. Um, and then this one here. I know it's dorky. It's a Furby. But it's the only one there is. Or at least. And so I, I thought it would be fun just to pick it up. Furby Tiger. Yeah. The first Retro Toys one of Furby. Yep. Who knows if they might put out more in the future. Yep. Okay. And then... Um, I'll, I'll just finish these last two and then we turn them in. Okay. I also got him from Walmart, um, MTV Moon Person, the rainbow guy, rainbow yeah. version. I thought he was just pretty cool. Um, try to pick up the other one too, the, just the silver one, but I don't know. I just thought it was neat. Oh yeah, that's definitely an icon. And then I like to collect the Fortnite pops and I found her cheap, Valor. She wasn't very expensive, 463 so anyway cool okay um other local pickups uh marvel's man and wolf captain america this one we found up at, actually up at entertain mart cap wolf cap wolf yep that was one of those pickups that i wanted to have for when the convention came out but unfortunately i didn't win the lottery and wasn't able to buy him um then other stuff from the funko shop the reason I wasn't so um, unhappy about opening Selena Kyle was because when I ordered the Selena Kyle from the Funko shop, they sent me the chase. That's pretty cool. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I guess the first chase you got from online, isn't it? Yep, that was the first one I got from the Funko shop. And then I also got the Freddy Funko with the his snow, uh, the skiing Freddy. Which is a Funko, Funko exclusive, Funko yeah. Shop exclusive. Got the 80s vibe to him. Yeah, he's got the colors. I thought that was pretty cool. And then also from the Funko Shop. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Was also able to pick up the Reverse Flash. And this is falls into the... The candy skull guys. Yeah, the Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Yep, Day of the Dead. So this is another one of those. Uh, this finishes my collection with that one. And then I picked up the Mandalorian with his Beskar spear just because 
I thought this one would be one of those that would be kind of cool to collect because the spear, of course, if you watch The Mandalorian, is gone. Yeah, they he forged it. He forged it. He made it into Grogu's armor. Or at least that's what they showed him forging it anyway. So. Yep, so it's no longer available. So I thought that would be one to definitely have in the collection. All right, what have you got over there? Um, one I got from Hot Topic. Um, that was pretty cool. Is the they doing the um, Disney People Movers, and I got uh, Mickey Mouse on the People Mover. Nice. There's a couple others uh, that are that are out. I know the Pluto's out right now. I need to pick him up. There's a Stitch and a Mini. Yeah. So and I love the gold on that one. Yeah, that they did a nice thing with the box. It's the, the 50s. Walt Disney Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. Yeah. Show them the back. That's yep. totally cool. So I thought that was really neat. Um. I'll probably get the other ones. I, I like my Mickeys. And then um, got this guy at the flea market. The box is kind of mangled, but I didn't care. Um, it's Carson Wentz. I yep. don't know. He's from the Eagles. Well, he was with the Eagles. We, we'll see who he ends up with. True. But anyway, he was he was cheap. No, actually, I got this at Ark. I'm sorry, at the Ark. Oh, okay. Um, but it was like three, four bucks or whatever. And whatever. It was my first sports pop. Um... I have a mascot pop, but that's about you know an actual player. My first one there, so. Okay. And then my last three are added into my uh, Ghostbusters collection. I have uh, Aaron Gilbert here from the 2016 Ghostbuster. Yeah. I, I had her at one point, but um, I think I traded her or sold her or whatever, so I got her again. Yeah, that's answer the call. Yep. And then. Got two others. I got from the new movie. Got podcast. Sweet. He's pretty cool. Got him from games um, from Walmart. Yeah, I was gonna see if I found Wally World. And then Phoebe. Nice. So that almost completes my collection. All I have left is uh, Ecto One with Trevor and of the regular of the regular um, pops. There's I'm still missing a bunch of the um, uh, mini pops, but of the regular characters, these. This completes it with the exception of the the Ecto-1 car with Trevor in it. Okay, cool. All right, well, then also a few more pickups. This, I was had some good luck recently. So, yeah, I got this one from um, Entertainment Earth exclusive. This is the Poison Spider-Man, and that is the chase that glows in the dark. So maybe we'll have to take a picture and show you guys. Um, also, got some X-Men Pops. Um, Katie Pride with Lockheed. I do like my Marvel. And Tony mentioned that we love the Ant-Man and Wasp, so here is Ghost. Boom. And then we also have here um, Hiro Hamada from... Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6 as a Dorbs. Yep. And this is one that actually is after Funko acquired the Dorbs company. And we've got a couple here from... Got these from the local... Um, what was it? Uh, another pawn shop. Another pawn shop, yeah. Here's Iceman. And he's a specialty series, Funko. Mm-hmm. And then from Avengers Infinity War, we've got uh, Corvus Glavin. Glaive. 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 Glaive, okay. My bad. And to finish that off, we've got Ebony Man. Ma. Ebony Ma. Oops. It's written on the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading very well today, am I? Okay, then we've got Black Widow from that same line. And Proxima Midnight. And then here's another chase. Um, this is Jet Jim Halbert. Um, this is where he's got it, the book written on his face. So this was also one that we found recently. And then here's a chase of Andy Sitzer. 40-year-old virgin. 40-year-old virgin, and he's holding Steve Austin. So there it's that, Chase. So yeah, these are actually ones that we found at the pawn shop. And 
And then the final pop. This is um, Punisher 2099. I thought that one was pretty cool. Yeah. If he didn't pick that one up, I probably would have. This is from the game's um, Contest of Champions edition. So this was one uh, Walgreens exclusive. Walgreens exclusive, yep. So that's thought might be cool to pick up just because Punisher is actually moving into the MCU now since that contract with Netflix ended. And I think that's, that's about that's it, it, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of pops here. And this was kind of one of those things where we were just wanted to get them all out so we could put them away, basically. Put them away, yep. Because they've been just kind of, mine have been sitting out in my room waiting to be put on the shelves of the rest of them. Indeed. So. But thank you for tuning in again. Um, my name is Chris. I'm Tony. And this is Blue Moon Collectibles. And, of course, we ask that you please like, comment, subscribe. And all, share. All that YouTube stuff. Yep. And please collect what you enjoy. This is all stuff we enjoy, so we're feeling pretty good today. And keep in mind, we didn't just buy this all in like a week. This is probably over a month's pickups, probably. <laughs> Indeed. This was a, <laughs> so, a while. In the, yeah, this has taken a while. So, all right, well, you have, you have yourself a good day, and uh, keep watching, keep having fun, and just do what you need to do. Bye. Bye.